Hey guys, this is Mr. Creeps, and today I'm showcasing the Mouse's Doors mod. The Mouse's Doors mod um, basically gives doors just a much cooler aspect. Like these doors, they have a really, really nice opening animation, plus also there is a lot of doors to choose from, plus also trap doors, and also fence gates are also now different new animations as well. So yeah, this is a really, really beautiful mod. We should be seeing most of the doors. So the first door, of course, is the normal wooden door. To craft it, hopefully you know how to craft it. It is six oak planks for three oak doors. Next, of course, is the classic iron door to make it. It is with six iron, it's six iron, it's just exactly the same. Just place that. And this also has the animation. Now we're on to some new doors. The glass doors. We have the wooden glass door. And also the iron glass door. Yeah, these are beautiful if you want to use them in like a shopping center style theme. And if we use those, and then we have the jail door, the factory door, the laboratory door, and the soji door, or soji, soji, not sure how to pronounce that, jail door, they're really cool, you cannot open them with your fist, the factory doors, you can open with your fist, or you can use your redstone signal, these awesome looking doors, and then the laboratory doors, and they, and they don't go up both. They don't need a redstone signal, but they don't act like the other doors where they both open at the same time. Which is kind of sad, because that would have been really cool if they could both open at the same time. And their hitboxes are at the very bottom of the block, and not at the top of the block. Next is the Soji door. They both open, these are beautiful sliding doors. You can open them with redstone, just like that. Next up, we are going to be, I'm going to be showing you the saloon door, the white curtain, the medieval door, and the carriage door. Oh, let me show you how to make these. I forgot to show you. The iron glass door, it's three iron ingots, and three glass, and three glass blocks. Same for this, except without the iron ingots, it is wood, and there is no variance, so you can use any type of wood you want. For the sogi, or soji door, it is paper instead of the glass. Laboratory door, it is four iron ingots and two gold ingots for three of them. Oops, wrong button. And for the factory door, which I believe is the most expensive door, it is two gold ingots. I mean, not two gold ingots, four gold ingots and two iron ingots. For the jail door, it is three uh, and six iron bars. For the saloon door, I'm gonna show you next, it is Four is four wooden planks and two sticks. For the curtain, uh, you can have any colored wool. Um, there's a bunch of different colored curtains, except I'm going to be showing off the white curtain. For the medieval door, there is no recipe. For the carriage door, first saloon doors. They're really cool. Plus, I believe you can just walk through them. Yep, they're the only doors that can actually let you do that. You cannot open them with your fist. You have to walk through them. But the curtains, you just press them. They're curtains. You don't walk into them. And you can use a redstone signal. Now we're going to be going into some of the bigger doors. And I mean big doors. So these are the oversized doors. And they are doors, but they're just oversized. The carriage door is also like that. Except this one's actually very, very beautiful. And all of them do have that frame. I'm not sure if you can change it or not, let me see. If we were to change it to wood, it's not your build anymore. See where's the hitbox? You can see that block right there. How tall are these? Oh wow, yeah, these are pretty tall. See if somehow it just changes color. So you have to use that 
that um, so you have to use the quartz if you want to actually make these fit in. And then we have the large oak, large iron, reinforced, rusty, and rusty hash. I'm gonna get some pressure plates. We're gonna need some for the iron doors. The large wooden doors, they're pretty big. They're like that. They're not as big as the other ones. They still are pretty big. Pretty big and beautiful. It's really good if you want to have a grand entrance to your large house. Well, you just want to look really cool in your gentleman's house. Then you fill in the floor. As you can see, it, um, they only come in double doors because as you can see, um, each one of these doors fills in one and a half blocks, which would usually work. The iron double doors. You only need one pressure plate. Anywhere. Actually, I think you have to have it in the middle. Yep, in the middle to open these. So we have a reinforced door, which is just normal. It has a really cool animation. Close it like that. We can step on our pressure plate to open it. And you cannot break it midway through animation. Next thing that we have is the rusty iron doors. You can open these with your fist. Or you can always use the thing. Plus, look, they have a really, really cool texture. I like their texture. Now, then we have the rusty hash. I'm not sure how you're supposed to use this one, actually. Like, you're supposed to use it like this. Well, the recipe for this is a rusty handle. To make a rusty handle, it is four iron ingots and also three iron ingots. But also there is some more materials in this mod. There is a lot more materials in this mod. I'm showcasing lots of them. I don't think I showed off the recipe for these ones yet. Well, the recipe for the large ones would be four of those doors. Um, let's see, for the reinforced door, like I showed you. Then also there is the door factory, the force field controller, the high tech door, the rusty ladder, and also the garage door. To make the garage door, it is wood and also one piece of glass. So the rusty ladder is just, is just just like the ladder recipe recipe, except with iron ingots. And the rusty ladder just acts just acts like a ladder but it's way cooler and now i think you're able to use a rusty hatch no i don't know how you're supposed to use the rusty hatch let me see if there's something blocking when you use it i'm not sure how you're supposed to use the rusty hatch but i know that it definitely is an item in the mod so then also there's the garage door the garage door is really cool because i mean it's a garage door if you have a garage in Minecraft, this is perfect for you because if you do this, it actually works, which is really, really cool. It has a working garage door. So if you're using Mr. Crayfish's um, vehicle mod, then this would be really, really cool for you because then you could have a garage door. So you can also select a, a button. Place it on the wall, it opens. Or else we can just click it. Actually, I don't think we can click it. See, there we go. So yeah, that's that. It's really cool. I really like it. Now so we got the high-tech door. It's like that. It's really cool. Um, I have not seen this door yet at all. I believe that this is a new addition. It's really cool. Like beautiful, like that. And I don't think you can. I don't, don't think you can use it with redstone. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, cool. And the next thing that I want to show you is the door factory, which is probably the coolest thing about this mod. Not the crazy doors, but this thing. Let's say that we wanted to make a door out of diamond. 
from glowstone and emerald ore you could with this with this factory the door factory you can do it it's awesome so here movement first we're to select movement um let's choose let's just choose um let's see let's choose rotating around and then there we go and then we have the sound to type i would like it i would like the maybe the wooden door i like the wooden door player detection enabled yep actually no disabled um let's see and then now we have the materials the materials now so the frame is going to be made out of diamond as you know it's going to be made out of glowstone top block will be the emerald ore and the bottom will be the diamond ore all we have to do is create door and bam we have it or a beautiful door which actually lights up look at that look how cool this is so if we were to have some more glowstone Get us some glowstone. There we go. And now we have a beautiful door. Which is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's so awesome. But then also we can create the world's ugliest door like in the universe. Let's do that right now. Let's get pink wool. I'm gonna use soul sand and also a puffer fish. Now this is a very gross combination. Go to the block, say frame type, bam. Soul sand, as you know. Actually soul sand can be the frame and bam like this and like that. Oh, we can't put it in there. Oh man. Well, we had to put it in there instead. Dirt. <laughs> Actually, no. Let's put in the. Let's put in some diorite. Yeah, that, that looks horrible. There we go. And then we can also choose it. Uh, let's do it a spinning door. It's gonna have the sound of a jail door. Create the door. So this is the world's ugliest door. Oh, oh yeah, that is ugly. That, that is horrible. This is a horrible door. I love it though. You think it's a really nice door? What do you really want this? Oh yeah, is it? No, like this. Oh, this can be a prank. Whoa. <laughs> like appearing and disappearing doors? I have an idea. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to get the blocks. I have to get the blocks. Same blocks, except that I actually wanted to do player detection. It would be kind of funny. Like, like it might look like an invisible wall, except, I mean, it is going to be looking like an invisible wall, except it's just going to close in front of the player. That's going to be really funny. Let's see. What was the other one? Oh, yeah. I believe it was Diorite. Yeah, the worst door in the universe. Let's see. Let's do Bam. Bam. And bam, actually, no, like that. Bam. Properties. Player detection. And I'll create the door. There you go. Oh, what? Oh, let's see. Oh, let me close this. Close it. And then. Oh, I can't close on player detection. Man, okay, so that would that really totally ruin my plans. Where's the door? Oh, wait, wait, what? Let's remove those doors. Well, I mean, yeah, this is the Malice's Doors mod. You can create or you can put like anything you want. You want a beacon? Nope, wrong button. You want a beacon? Wow, full beacon door? You can definitely have a full beacon door. Have you ever wanted a fully dirt door? Yeah, you can do that too. Get a bunch of dirt. 
be anything you want. Beacons? A beacon door? Holy! Holy, a beacon door. Dirt. Okay, you can tell me about a dirt door. Is there a beacon door? This is the worst waste of time ever. Because as you can see, it just looks like a glass door. And then, hold on. Man. I just change this. Just do rotating and let's do that. Yeah. And let's just add dirt so we can actually make a good door. There you go. There you go. That's much better. Oh yeah, this is a horrible door. Uh huh. Just imagine this having an entrance to your house. Like, um, those, those noobs um, are not just gonna have holes in their house. No. We're gonna have these doors. Secret doors. And also, I have a perfect addition to this mod. What if you could also make your cu own custom trap doors? That would be so cool. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. And also, I have not used this force field tutorial yet. I don't know what this does. What's it do? Oh, it makes a force field. Oh, look at that. Whoa, look at this. Blown up by TNT. Hold on, I have no idea what this is. Got some flint, steel. I want to see if this thing's blown up by TNT. Can that? Oh, if it can, then that would be awesome. No, it can't. Huh. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. As always, I actually have something to say. Say. I have the link to the mod and also the core, the mouse's core, in the description down below with the forge. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye, and have a great, wonderful, lovely day.